Hi, everybody. It's Talk To Me Tuesday. It's your girl, Anja, and I'm here with one of the most resilient human beings that I know. Her comeback story is one that you do not want to miss. She is the proud owner of Vixen Fit. Please help me welcome CEO, my girl, Paige. Hi, Paige. How are you? Good, good, good. How's welcome, it going? welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm happy I'm here with you. I'm so glad you're here with me. So please let me know. All right. Where is your love for dance? Let's just start off with that. Like, when did you know you were in love with dance? Um, <laughs> wow. Since I was a child, um, that is where I first discovered dance. Um, that is my first love, my first baby. Um, I've been doing it for years. Um, I started dancing um, as a junior lovable. Um, and then I started dancing with the Chicago Rush Dancers as a kid as well. So um, as time went on, um, I got introduced to a company called Endure. Um, I went to Columbia College for dance as a dance major. Um, and it just pretty much kind of flowed from there and it stuck with me um, since then. So I'm still rolling with it. Okay, so you were in school for dance. You danced your whole life originally what was your plan what did you want to do with your dancing ability uh originally that's yes. that is very specific <laughs> um so originally when I first started dancing um it was my major so you know I went to college for it and my my first thing was you know I'm gonna be this professional dancer I'm gonna travel you know I'm gonna meet all these celebrities and pretty much I planned on being this um backup dancer really doing shows um and so on and so forth but um God had other plans <laughs> yes God definitely had other plans for you and your life took some pretty crazy turns so when you were hit with one of like big blows what was actually let's kind of get into what some of those uh big oh blows were because I mean we can't even tell your story without telling your truth and I love how you overcame what you went through so you're dancing you're living your life you're in college you have all these dreams and bam what happens okay so I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with um the big jam it's pretty popular in Chicago um so at this time I was in college and I was actually picked to be one of the backup dancers for um the opening for the big jam I'm super excited I'm like oh my god I'm gonna be all these flurries this is great um and long story short three days before the show I tore my ACL what were you doing I, I was at rehearsal oh no, I was at rehearsal for the show and um it's tore. so yeah that happened um, so, so did you know that you had tore your ACL right then? Or did you think that you could dance through it? What happened? Talk to me about that moment. Did you know? I, I didn't know specifically what it was. But from what it felt like, I knew I was like, out. Like, it, it's a, a feeling that anybody that's ever done it, they'll be like, yeah. You know, like, it's a wrap. So that, that buckle, once I got up, it's like being like a little... Pinocchio toy like falling back down I'm like yeah no I can't come back from this at least not right now you know so yeah so what did people in rehearsal did they pick up on it or did you try and play it off um I tried to get up for a moment and try to like jump back into it and they were like no like this is it so they ended up having to help me get to my car <laughs> I couldn't walk um so yeah they helped me get to my car and you know it sucked it did. They had to, you know, pretty much figure out how to readjust, you know, different routines and stuff like that. Because once they realized, like, okay, this is, you know, not a sprain, you know, this is something that she's not going to be able to heal from. It was like, we got to move forward. So it sucked. It really did. I cried like a big old baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I still am like, ugh. was that your right side or your left side? Um, the first one, the first one was my right side. Okay. So mm -hmm. you go down, you are not able to perform? No, I'm not able to perform. It was a wrap. That was it. 
Uh, that was it. Did you go to the performance? Did you hear about it? Did you see it? Or you were like, I don't, I don't want to know anything. I I definitely still checked in with the girls, you know, I was like, you know, hey, have fun, good luck. But I did not go um, just because it was difficult to walk during that time and I was on crutches. Mm-hmm. So I didn't go nowhere. Um, <laughs> so what was that healing process like? What did you have to do? Did you need surgery? How did that work? I did need surgery. Um, the first doctor I met um, basically told me like, let's be realistic. If you do want to ever dance again, you have to get this surgery done. Um, so I was like, all right, you know, if that's what I have to do to get down to it. So I had to go through surgery. I had to go through um, the therapy process and it took a while. It took probably about like, I want to say six months to a year. Um, and then I remember doing my follow-up and my doctor going, you know, just so you know, just a heads up, you know, for women, it's very common for them to tear the second one. And And I was like, I'll be fine. (laughs) I'd be like, yeah, all right, women, if guys don't have that problem, we don't either, okay? (laughs) So I'm like, I'm not trying to hear that, you know, it's cool. I'll be okay. Um, But I will say after the first one, it was very difficult for me to jump back in. You get scared. You know, you get scared of like that, oh, shoot, you know, can I make a certain move without being, you know, injured again? Or how am I going to be later? Or am I going to be able to dance again? So it was definitely um, an adjustment. Um, And then after, once I was healed, Um, Of course, being a young, um, I'll I'll say teenager, because I was like, what, 19, 20 years old, Um, I had my first baby girl. So I got pregnant. um, And And for what a lot of people may not understand is like, at least in our world, because we trained together for Mm -hmm. a long time, all of our, you know, professors and teachers and coaches, you know, they were very adamant about us not having a child baby. <laughs> babies that was off the table you want your dance career having a baby is a is a no so yeah so yes <laughs> it was <done. laughs> so yeah so we have a kid <laughs> so babies and I walked in ballet class with a baby um <laughs> pregnant um so how pregnant were you when you returned back to school were you showing <laughs> Yeah, and I want to say I didn't really start, like, showing, showing up until, like, what, three months? But I was showing when I got there. I was showing. Oh, so did I- people know? Yeah, they did. And I had to, Um, I think before I really started showing, I had to tell my te- teachers about the ACL injury, then they- and then I had to tell them about the pregnancy. <laughs> That's a double bam, bam, which I'm pretty sure knowing our professors were like, I were like, Jesus. Girl, you're putting your body through the most. Yeah, and I was. It was a um, so but they did not um discourage me. Okay. They just were really honest about, okay, you're gonna stay here, you wanna do this, this is going to be difficult, you know, just a heads up. Um, and they weren't wrong. They yeah. weren't wrong. So I was So do you appreciate that they were really raw with you about what was going on or do you feel like they could have been a little less like um I appreciate the raw because it wasn't a negative it was like a reality check like hey you know being a you know a dancer and having a child and being a single mother at that is gonna be difficult you know so but they were supportive about it. They were like, but if this is what you want to do, you know, show up. But of course, yeah. being a ballet teacher, keeping my back, you know, great, <laughs> great that wasn't happening no more. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's out the window. Windows. Um, but yeah, so pretty much I danced until I want to say like five or six months. Um, and then I had to tap out. Um, because they tell you when to stop dancing or did you have to make that choice for yourself? Um, I feel like I made that choice for myself because of the ACL in- injury. Oh, yeah. Surgery, gaining the weight, 
Um, and then of course, when you're pregnant, your limbs get more flexible. Um, so um, I started to feel a little bit more pain. Um, and back then I did not, you know, understand strength training. I didn't understand, you know, the, all of the things that I could have done or that I needed to do to, you know, make my leg stronger or prevent certain things from happening. So the more pain I felt, I just kind of started like, all right, I'm getting a little heavy, you know, let me pull back. So yeah, I took a break, but it definitely kept me small for a little bit, you know, <laughs> it did. But yes, yeah, so up in six, up to six months, I stopped. Well, that's really interesting because I always feel like you are naturally really stretchy and bendy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's interesting that you could fill your range and be like, this isn't something's mm -hmm. not gonna, this isn't right for me in this moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, it's like a break. A break. And then what happened? So because that was not the end of your, <laughs> of life really throwing curveballs at you and God definitely pushing you in different directions. So I'm not even sure how we even get to the next big roadblock, but here we go. I, I can fast forward. Um, So we fast, well, forward. fast forward. You don't have to fast forward. I'm just saying that like, I already, I don't know about the viewers, but I'm already feeling the weight of the first two blows. So yeah, carry so on. I'm here the first two blows um so we fast forward um I had my beautiful baby girl um and I we love her oh my god I love her so much we love her <laughs> that's my baby um but it definitely molded me to be a lot stronger so I was not, I'm still not a woe is me person um so even back then it was like okay you know um, I did end up having to drop out, you know, of college. So I'm like, all right, what do I need to do? So I had my daughter, um, stayed at home for the six to eight weeks with my mom, because, you know, you're not supposed to stay by yourself. Um, and then kind of figure out, like, all right, got to get an apartment, you know, got to get, you know, a job and I hustled. Um, so thankfully, at the time, I was able to, um, I had a job at a daycare. So that worked out because I was able to keep my baby with me during the day. So I went to work. She came to work with me. Um, and then I'm like, All right, what's the quickest way I can make some money, you know, without doing something I ain't got no business doing? <laughs> that part. That part. Um, so, hey, Marshall. Um, <laughs> so pretty much I was like, okay, um, I'm going to bartend. So I, you know, spent three weeks at bartender school and got my license and I did, you know, I did a bowling alley and a nightclub and, you know, I got bartending and, you know, like I hustled, you know, straight through um, and it worked, you know, I was able to pay, you know, my bills, take care of my babies, but I was working three jobs. Okay. You were working three jobs. You were making mm -hmm. ends meet. Do you care about your dream at this point? Do you not care about your dreams? What's going on with that? Um, So I definitely still cared about it. It was me trying to figure out how to get back to it. Um, And of course, sometimes, you know, being a little impulsive, I woke up one day and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try again. Um, So I did. Now, with that, I ended up trying out for um, one of the like South Suburban um, football teams, you know, where they, you know, just have like their dancers, you know, for their games on a regular, but they were pretty popular, but I figured it was a small scale for me to start that. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, all right, cool. You know, I can do this. Um, and then I went to the audition. So I went to an audition, you know, I was doing really well. Um, and then sure enough, um, I was dancing and I remember kicking my left leg in the air and I heard a snap. <laughs> and oh, all of it, that was my left. <laughs> so you tore your left ACL at that moment. At the um, audition. And because I was familiar at that point, I already knew. I was okay. like, there it is. <laughs> it, happened. it happened I already know I'm gonna go I'm gonna take this L real quick give me a second so at that point um I did get carried out to the car by this really cute football player 
don't know who yes, it is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I took it carried out, and my best one of my best friends were with me at the time, and we were sitting in the car, and she was just like, you know, she was in shock. She was just like, what the heck? You know, like, how does this happen again? And she was like, don't say it's that. Like, we don't know it's that. I was like, um, it was my, my best heart, friend. My heart and my body knows. I'm like, Eric, I'm telling you this is what it is. I'm like, call my mom because we have to go to the emergency room. I'm like, we oh. got to go. I was like, but I'm my gut. I'm like, I already know. So, of course, we get to, uh, you know, the emergency room. Um, I don't know if most people know, like, x-rays don't show everything. So, I'm literally, like, arguing back and forth with doctors telling me what's wrong with me. And they're like, we don't, I know what it is. You're like, I already know. I literally know. Please don't do, like, I, yeah, I got this. This one I know. Of course, you know, when they did do it, then I remember the doctor going back was like, oh, well, you're right. (laughs) <laughs> you thank told- you I hate to be right in this moment but like yeah. yeah so um that was hard one because my daughter wasn't even one yet so she did not know how to walk <laughs> so, so all uh, this happened like within how like oh maybe two uh, years two years yep two years back to back so imagine living by yourself working three jobs um having pretty much a newborn baby with a recovery ACL and then a new torn one. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was like, okay, all right, God. <laughs> like, so how was your faith in this moment? Because like, it's easy to have faith when like everything's going well, but like, I mean, you were going through it in the worst way. Your life changed like overnight and it kept getting worse. And so, like, how, like, how did you use your I, faith or use your support? So who was your support system? Like, I would say faith is a thing. Um, it was never a situation where I was. I don't even want to say angry. I just couldn't. Um, I kept trying to figure out the why. Of course, okay. it, but it was just like, okay, God, if it's not this, then what do you want me to do? You know, like, I, I don't get it. So at the time, um, my support system was my mom. Um, definitely, you know, my close best friends. Um, and then at the time, um, I had got married really young, too. So I have... <laughs> Throw that into the mix. Yeah. There was a whole marriage. <laughs> yeah. Married. And the guy that I met at the time, he was really supportive during that time, too. So um, I got through it the best way that I could. I did. Um, but everything has a purpose and everything happens for a reason. So I was able to understand years later the why. Okay. Mm-hmm. It made sense later. Of course, you know, we never get our answers right away. Um, when we're never. Left. But I want to say maybe like seven years later, it started, it clicked. And you then just woke up and you're like, Okay, I see what you did there. I was like, okay, God, I get it. So it wasn't meant for me to be this, you know, traveling dancer. That that's not what it was for. That's not what my purpose was for. Um, And I had to understand that. I had to um, come to terms with that and be at peace with that. Um, But now, you know, with what I'm doing um, career-wise, it's worth it you know living in purpose is worth it um yeah so I I have no even though it's crazy I have no regrets you know? <laughs> that is what life is all about is like walking in your purpose and understanding that like you're doing the best with what you have so let's get into how you came up with this business strategy like your business well tell us what your business is and like how you even came to it Okay, um, so I will start with Vixen Fit. Um, Vixen Fit originally started out um, at my job at the time called Dance Fusion. Um, I was actually um, working at a corporate gym. I was working for Charter Fitness and my boss at the time, I'm like, you know, hey, you know, can I do something different? I'm like, is it okay, you know, if I teach, you know, just basic, you know, dance here? 
Um, and he was like, sure, you know, it's fine. So um, it was pretty much like my version of uh, Zumba, right? So they let me do it. You know, it took off. And I was like, okay, cool, great. Um, but knowing me and the type of person that I am, I was like, oh, let me see if I can go a little bit further. Reach the boundaries is a little bit more. So I was like, all right, cool. Um, they liked the my version of Zumba. I was like, so how would you guys feel if I started doing actual choreography um, and we just changed the name? And I remember my boss telling me, like, well, what kind of choreography? And I told him, like, you know, well, it was my more- kind. <laughs> my- Period. My kind of choreography. What are we? Do you trust me or do you trust me? Um, I was like, well, it'll be a little bit different. You know, it will have a little bit more of like a burlesque style to it. Um, a little bit more floor choreography. You know, it's going to probably have a little twerking involved, you know, but it um, it's going to bring a different type of, you know, vibe and feel to the women. And of course, he was like, okay, if you can keep it clean, we can do it. What's his definition so- of clean? <laughs> So I was like, all right, cool. You know, clean enough for corporate. Cool. Whatever. Oh, okay. Bet. So I was like, okay, I can do that. You know, so they allowed me to branch that. And that was when I found my way back to dance. Nice. So that pretty much, you know, made me go, all right, you know, I have these, you know, group of women that need some form of a outlet and they're getting that from this you know they're they're receiving that um and it really just kind of took off from there um so now you know I have this beautiful community of women that come see me you know once a month just to feel free um I agree and they know that Vixen Fit is a judge-free zone um they know that whatever issues or challenges or struggles that they are going with going through in life we you know lay it out on the floor here and they feel confident and they feel beautiful and they have this outlet not even just with me but with each other um and I love it it's a beautiful thing my dog I love it too have you gotten any pushback because sometimes you teach in different locations have you gotten any pushback with your choreography and or song choice um choreography and song choice as far as the push uh, I don't no not really oh really? Really. that's great yeah not really um I haven't gotten that much push back at all now that I think about it which is you know a good thing um so a lot of times they are very um open to it um yeah so no thankfully <laughs> So what does this do for you as a dancer, as everything that you've gone through to still find your way back to your truth and your light and your dancing community? What does it mean for you to still be using your gift? Um, it's fulfilling. Um, it's, it's very fulfilling. It's, it's worth it um, to see just the changes in the women. Um, so for me, it's just, it gives me a reason to you know share my story um it gives me a reason to express you know how I feel personally or even how I feel about my confidence as a woman um and my sexuality as a woman and pour that into them because um a lot of them need it you know we're we're wives we're moms we work um and we have a lot more in common than we think. Um, so <laughs> um, just to, to work on myself in that and pour that into them, um, it just makes me happy. <laughs> it does. And to do it through dance. <laughs> and so, to do it through dance is like yeah. the icing and the cherry on top of the, yeah, right? So I love it. I do. I am so, so proud of all that you have accomplished. Do you have any last words of wisdom for anybody who's like going through what seems like really dark days and people feeling like they wanted to do X, Y, and Z with their life and, you know, God is changing them or like life is just like really not going right. What do you have to say to like Uh, anybody listening that may be going through some stuff? 
trust God um, because a lot of the obstacles that you are going through, um, there's a reason behind it. Um, take a moment, pause, you know, really think, listen to your intuition, listen to um, the directions that you're being pulled towards because sometimes they can really suck. Um, but um, there is definitely a, a purpose or a reason behind it. Um, have a lot of patience. Um, and just kind of have faith. But for sure, if you want to do something, <laughs> um, if you really want to do something um, career-wise or if you have a passion for something, do not hesitate to do it. You do not have to have everything, every single detail of something to start something. Uh, with, you know, with Vix and Fit um, and with Forever Fit, I <laughs> woke up and pretty much just said sorry <laughs> you're good you're good i'm gonna do this this is what i want to do um it was spur of the moment um it was passion but i made it happen so that's the advice that i would give for sure well before we go you know i have to show some people what you're capable of what your classes how hot and spicy they get so you guys stay tuned in three two one let's go jump into your dance class because I don't even know if I can like woo so ew, 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 ew. <laughs> all right everybody you've been watching talk to me Tuesday it's your girl Anja Paige do you want them to follow your business page anywhere or where can they find you um so if you have a Instagram um you can follow Vixen Fit 365 um and Forever Fit 365 so go ahead, check me out. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> and, and thank you for having me. This was dope. Ah, awesome. Always, you know, you are my right hand Chicago girl. Like I couldn't live that life without you. So I'm so thankful for you. You're such a blessing to my life. You inspire me so much. So keep living your truth, living your journey. Like I love you so much. Love you too, babe. All right, guys. Bye. Oh, and of course, before I go, you can follow me at it's your girl Unja underscore Unja. Once again, you can follow me at it's your girl Unja underscore A N J A. And this time, we really out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>